I'll be demonstrating a bent knee rock from side to side. So a bent knee rock from side to side, as the name suggests, we're going to bend our knees and then rock them with control from side to side. And this is a good way to double as both a core or trunk strength drill while also working as a hip and lumbo pelvic mobility drill. Um, generally speaking, we do this one in sitting, but there is also a version you can do um, lying on your back or in supine as well. So for the sitting version, what we're going to do is we're gonna start with our hands supported down by our sides, knee bent and together like so. Then from there, we're just gonna simply let our knees drop to one side, come back to the top, and then gently rock to the other side as well. I'm trying to keep my shoulders square and allowing the knees to just gently fall to the position that they're able to do. Now, another one that's a lot more commonly seen uh, that um, is often prescribed is what we call like a hip floss or a 90-90 hip rocker. Now, uh, this one, you have to have your feet a lot wider, like so. And then from there, what we're going to do is let both knees collapse to the point that one knee is tucking under the foot. We are allowing our shoulders to rotate a little bit. You can see I'm now pointed in that direction instead of towards the camera. And then we floss or rotate to the other side as well. And then we basically do that backwards and forwards. And again, we're working through hip mobility here. We're just doing it in a slightly different position. So in terms of your bent knee side to side rocks, you either can have your narrower foot position and just gently rocking from one side to the other or you can do more of that hip 90-90 slash hip floss variation where you have your feet much wider and then rotate 